Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we'll be showcasing the brand new exotic called Pyro Girl Gauntlets which makes your Burning Mouth Super a one-shot super. A nice and very easy exotic to put on, the following makes your super and concentration apply a fire cyclone after use for that extra bonus of damage. And not only that, but it's also great for DPS and a lot of content available. I'm going to show you a simple way using the exotic that will give you fast super, melee and going to the energy back, back to back scorch recognitions, and most of all, a simple way to have a ton of fun around it. To start, you're going to want to have Consecration, where sliding with a full charge melee will launch a wave of solar energy forward, damaging and scorching anyone near it. While airborne, activating your charge melee again will slam you to the ground and trigger another blast which can ignite. Then you want to have Roaring Flames where final blows with solar abilities increase the damage of your solar abilities. The method here is clear. Along with your fragments, your Consecration will be the main driving force for getting your abilities back fast and also building your super energy up in a short time frame. With Roaring Flames, this should make using your abilities a lot more stronger over time, which against major to mini bosses, should provide you a nice alternative once your super is out or not ready. For Fragments, Ember Eruption where Solar Ignitions have increased area effect, Ember Searing where defeating Scorched targets grant melee energy and increase fire sprite, Ember Shark where your Solar Ignitions spread Scorched to other targets, and Ember of Ashes where you apply more Scorched stacks to targets. The most important fragment to have here is the Ember of Searing as this here is easy to proc but also will be giving us both melee and grenade energy which we will need. The Ignition Fragments will be handy not only for the powered melee but also for our exotic which can also benefit from this largely. So if you want to, you could add on the Ember of Blistering Fragments where defeating targets with Ignition do grant you back grenade energy. Overall, Ember of Ashes is the general play here as this loan will grant us the ability to proc Ignitions on a more common scale than ever before. For the mods and stat section, we're going to invest into Intellect and Strength as these will be the most common items used in the build. At tier 7 for Intellect, we can apply the Frontal Wisdom mod for an extra plus 30 towards the current stat for an overall tier 10 stat. This will make our super cooldown to 6 minutes 23, which is good enough for being able to use more often. To push this further, we have the Harmonic Cypher mod which will grant us an orb of power after a solo weapon kill. We also have the Hands On mod which will be doing the heavy lifting for getting our super and ready in a short period. You do not need to expand on this further as the following is already strong enough to complete the build. Your strength though will be at tier 7, but with the Funnel Vigor mod this would be pushed to tier 10 instead. This overall makes your melee cooldown rate to 46 seconds which is perfect to us. To reduce this further, we can apply the Momentum Transfer mod for an extra 20% upon activation. Having Outreach times 2 will grant us the further 10% as well and then applying your Ember of Searing will overall push your melee regen rate to around a 20 to 25 second cooldown instead. Grenades will play a part in this build as well, but not a key one. It is recommended that a tier 7 discipline with Thermite will be beneficial enough with Searing at play. For the next section, this will focus on armor charges and viable mods that users can also apply. Charged up times 1 will allow users to increase their armor charge count by plus 1. You then want to have the times 1 solar surge mod for a 7% solar weapon buff, and then the time dilation mod for a 15 second overall armor charge decay. It's recommended to have increased spacing for heavy weapons, so your harmonic reserves and solar scavenger are a perfect combo to also have. For weapons, anything with incandescent on it will be fine enough for the setting on the build. I've gone with the Sunshot hand cannon that has now been updated to apply Scorch on kills. If those base Scorch levels are low, applying key fragments that improve this makes the weapon a perfect trailblazer for when triggering multiple explosions at once. Along with its ability to cause multiple explosions, it also has a fast reload upon emptying your entire mag, which will be common when using the following in any wave based content. However, if you want Scorch applied to a target directly without the need of kills required, then Skyburners will always be a top recommendation for anyone to use. Pretty much everyone can easily get one, and it has been adjusted to be more stronger than ever before. After that, I would then also recommend a Heavy with Incandescent as well, although this may vary for what purpose you have in mind. I simply went with Apex Predator with Vorpal and Reconstruction for more boss damage application. Combine this with my super pretty much allows us to burn a boss down from full health to no health. The introduction to the so called Pyro Girl Gauntlets have made Burning Mile an absolute amazing super to use in such a simple way. 
Although a simple aspect would have been nice for the following, it does allow players more solo options to pick compared to what we already have. Burning Mull and Consecration are both amazing with the right fragments, that improve Scorch and Condition Damage, but by applying the ability to create a solo cycle at the same time, it makes out control against bigger enemies even more worth the risk than ever before. Both abilities are powerful enough to kill rooms of enemies in one go, while at the same time being useful against many bosses to bosses to a degree. However, the overall damage the following result can make Burn Amount 1 and Done damage do is highly interesting to use and apply. Just like using Thunder Crash, the following increases his super damage by 650%, which against raid bosses, for example, is quite a lot once Scorching Initiatives then also get applied. Now, Adding the ability to get back melee and grenade energy back via the Ember of Searing and the Sunshot Hand Cannon, and you'll get one of the best builds to use for this season and pretty much the next season and so forth. The simplification but strength of the exotic pretty much means that you can make both your super and melee a powerhouse in the right environment, and from there you don't really need to focus on specific schematics to make the exotic even better, as just in its base form, you'll still get a lot. I would definitely say following my example is going to be the best as it covers all content in game and does not require mixing and matching for the best results. Even the exotic hand cannon you use is not required, which should tell you straight away how flexible such a build is. Only issue I have though is just how simple it is. It's too simple and it does not require a lot of ideas to create even more builds from it. But that's something for another day, so what do you think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared then please leave a comment below while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and sub right here. I will leave a dim link for the build below and if you want more stuff like this then I have players available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all and I hope to see you again soon.